All right, so I have something quite interesting. I um, had a friend who was throwing this away. Uh, they lost the key. It's open, so there's nothing in it. But they lost the key, and I've watched a couple of videos on lock picking, so I thought I'd have a little fun, see if I can open this up. Really, how easy is it to open it up? Uh, and then, at the end of the day, take a look at this and um, you know, right, try and judge whether or not I would buy uh, a Sentry safe, at least of this style. I've always been very leery of safes. I think they look nice, rigid, you know, um, kind of corrugated and rough uh, matte finish here. And, and there, it's black, it looks tough, it looks official. But honestly, uh, I've just been very leery of really whether you should trust one of these or not. You know, and this one here is for fire rating. And if we take a peek up there, we can uh, kind of look at that model number, and it's rated for, uh, uh, what's that say? Class 350, so half hour, and class 177 for a half hour as well. So um, I'm sure those are a fire rating code, maybe depending on how it starts or how hot it burns. And that makes sense, because I think inside this whole thing, I mean, it is very thick. It's uh, like concrete or some type of that style material. So this plastic should burn off, but it should still remain to keep your paperwork, or whatever you have in here. Uh, interesting note, um, it's a safe, it's got a lock, it's you know sturdy, it's heavy, it looks um, you know tough and rugged, and yet they say don't put guns in here. Um, I find that a little odd because if you're gonna buy a safe, uh, why not? So we'll just I'm gonna tr see if I can break this without using the key So maybe that's why it's very easy, but I did just find it quite interesting there um, So it says yeah, no firearms no weapons or combustible. So let's get to it Let's see if I can open this guy up. I'm rather curious myself um, So let's bring this a little low if I can And Amazon for about 11 or 12 bucks. I got this guy. Woo! So I'm going to grab my bar. And as I mentioned, I'm just going to rake this, um, uh, which means apply a little bit of pressure to this uh, solenoid as if you were going to open it just enough and then uh, open this up. And I'm going to rake it for two reasons, which means just going back and forth until um, one of these uh, to the pins open and the first reason is because <laughs> I'm not a professional <laughs> so uh, and the other second reason I thought would be quite interesting is I want to see whether or not there we go get one of these maybe a thin one I don't know how much room is in that lock but I just want to see uh, if, if anyone if your you know child can grab one of these or find one of these or have a buddy buy one and, and open it I mean after all um, you know, I've got kids hanging around the house. What's going to happen if I um, really want to store something important in here? What's it mean? Could they really just follow a YouTube video? God knows there's plenty of them and, and do that. So I'm going to apply a little uh, pressure here. So if the key was in there, it should be a turn on the way. And as I said, I'm certainly no lock picking lawyer. So uh, just going to go through and just curious to see how well it is. And here's. I can show that there's the first one I'll try if this appears that it's too that the height is too much for it I've got this guy right here and I don't know whether or not these are the right tools to use that's my point um, I'm probably as ignorant as it comes to opening up a lock but that should be uh, some sufficient uh, evidence <laughs> of how easy something like this may actually be so uh, as I said we'll try this guy first put a little pressure Let's see. <laughs> what the hell? No, 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 no. No. No, it couldn't have been that easy. Okay, I think, I think it had, okay. Okay, I'm gonna double check again because there's just no way. This is not like this one of those you video edit so I'm gonna try again it's it's locked I can't believe that I would have been able to open it that easy I mean either I am highly skilled which is not true or um, these locks are shit there's this snow way though let me just try again okay. 
put it here. Okay, just put up a bit more. Give me enough room. And there we go. Oh. Oh, put my bar in the way. Oh, you know what? Let's try a different tactic, just for fun of it. Let's put this in here first. <laughs> and then let's put this bar in here. Lit up. Okay, and let's try it. And, you know, not exactly a fancy job. Oh, let me reset it real quick. Because I can't believe it would have been that easy. I mean, that, that's just ridiculous if it was truly that easy. All right, so let me just concentrate for a moment. As I said, pressing up and down, nothing fancy. All right, so maybe I just got lucky, or maybe I just ruined the lock. Now I'm going to try this guy for a moment. He's a little bit smoother. This one's kind of a rough. I don't think I got lucky, so I'll put this up here. Same thing. Now I'm going to use this one. Be just just for fun. Oh, this one's actually kind of harder. All right, and just go back and forth, back and forth. All right, for goodness' sake! Now all of a sudden it looks like it doesn't come. Maybe I broke it. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to grab one that's smooth. One more time. So maybe it was just proven uh, beginner's luck. <laughs> or I broke the thing. Uh, so do this again. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go back to this guy. This one seems to be pretty successful. It's got that beveled front, which should allow me to more easily bring this in here. There we go. All right. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so that's uh, that's incredible. Yeah, and I'm 100% sure, as you saw in the video, that that was locked. So I'm going to lock it again. It's locked. Can't turn it. All right, and just for the heck of it, I'm going to try it one more time. Uh, maybe I'll just get better at it. Maybe these locks are just crap to begin with. I don't know. So I'm going to stick this in there, and you can tell from this video that's uh, you know going on in a couple of minutes. I'm certainly not an expert at locks, um, so let's try this one more time. Make sure that it wasn't a fluke. Yeah, because that's what kids would do. They'd come in there and then probably mess up your lock. Let's reset it. Try again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's becoming silly now. This is shit. This is scary. Um, boy, if I, I mean, it doesn't take a clever girl or a clever boy to uh, undo this. I mean, I, and I'm using this guy, which I'm sure uh, anyone who knows locks are like, you're going to destroy it. But if I'm a kid, what do I care about destroying it? I want to get in and out and not let anyone know. I, I don't know how. Wow. That's. That's impressive, impressively stupid. This has markings on there that uh, say 3V2. Uh, it's probably some model number of this solenoid. I'm guessing it stands for really easy to get in here. U2, right? Okay, that was a bad joke. Okay, so let me lock this now um, because the other thing I wanna do is I, I wanna try to see how uh, robust this is. Let's say that I didn't want to get in the key entryway. What if I wanted to get in the back way? So I'm going to lock it. There we go. Nice and locked. Can't open it. Move my camera out a bit more. And so this is, you know, meant to be carried like this. So uh, honestly, if I was going to purchase. Um, a safe for a gun first thing that I would do after buying it is I would try and pick it myself I mean if I can pick the lock as easily as that I, 
return the gun safe. I mean, uh, th this this eleven dollar. Uh, who cares if you break the damn lock? Honestly, who cares? Return it. You know why I say that? Because if you can do it, right? Your 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 child, your teenager is gonna be able to do the same thing, and then they're gonna have a gun in their hand. And trust me, you'd rather return this, uh, you know, and uh, damage than or undamaged because it looks like it worked over and over again. Then um, have y you know your valuables or your gun, whatever you want, accessible. Now this one says no gun, but I'm saying if I were to buy a gun case, I'd buy it and then I would attempt the same thing. And if I can get to it just as easily as that, and I'm novice, oh, you you, you don't even want to return the thing and probably switch companies because this is crap. I mean, I wouldn't even trust having a, you know 20 bucks in here. Anyone can get into it. Anyway, so the other thing that I was curious about is this hinge back here. Because um, I, I want to know how hard it would be for someone to stick a screwdriver in and look what I happen to have, a flathead screwdriver. So all I want to do is I just want to apply some pressure here uh, by the hinges and see. Because there have been some reports that it's incredibly easy to open from the back end and sneak in, which is kind of weird. Because, I mean, you know, what do I expect? Well, there should be some metal rods coming in that goes along this lid. And then they should go through at least, I would think, an inch, inch and a half into some supporting steel beams. So let's go ahead and try that out. That's what I want to see. Huh? Oh, it's got a lot of movement. Well, it's certainly not waterproof. Same thing here. Look at this. What the? This is, a, I'm just astounded. Let me put a shim here. Look at this. I'm opening up the safe. Um, you got a lock in the front that's easy to pick. Look at this. I could reach in here, grab what I wanted to. There's no metal rods here. I don't understand. All right, so what appears is going on is, I'm trying to get a good picture, is they just have these, like in, in this plastic material, I'm feeling it around. I don't feel anything metal. It feels like it's almost just like a plastic air bubble that was operating as the hinge. Um, yeah. Look at that. You can just pop it right back in. Same thing here. Yeah. It just looks like they used a, a air bubble of some sort. I mean, there's nothing. Ex wow. Wow. This is really crap. So I could imagine you could open this up, come in here, take what you want, wipe your fingerprints off because you got plenty of time since you don't have to pick a lock push this back down, never having to even touch the lock. So you might be, it might be quicker to open it from the back end, take what you want, close it back up, than it would be to pick the lock. 